Thank you so much for staying with us here on Channel 405. And it is Sport On. Continue talking to us on uh, hashtag Sport On 405. And we are with the coach, the senior men's national coach in South Africa, Bafana Bafana coach Mulifinteki, who was appointed just uh, a week and a day uh, uh, ago. Coach, so continuing with our chat, now you've got the, the current crop of, of players that you inherited from Coach Stuart Baxter. Uh, you worked with him. You went to AFCON with him. Can we expect major shakeups from Coach Nteki in terms of, uh, obviously now with the first squad, you, you, you haven't really uh, <laughs> made headlines with people being dropped and, and all of that. Is, is there shake-ups that we, we, we are to expect? I think all that is important in football is continuity. And uh, I've been part of the national team for the past uh, two years or so. I've been with Coach, with, with Coach Stewart for the past year. And I've been doing a very um, important job for him mm. in profiling players and, and making some presentations uh, before we, we can uh, call up uh, uh, individuals into the into the squad. So if you look at um, the team that we took to um, to Egypt mm. for the Afcon, it was a profile that was done over a period of a year. And if you look at the team that we selected last time for 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 the Zambia Madagascar uh, camp, uh, we did not have too many changes, except for players that we felt they need to be rested, except for players that we felt we need to have a look at those uh, new faces. Because um, national team, um, you can't have a national team where every position is permanent. Mm. Everything has to be based on ability. Everything has to be based on performance. But the most important thing is um, your profiling has to do with your opponents. Mm. What type of a team are you going to play and what system are you going to play? And you look around and say which players can fit into that system, especially when you're playing against a particular team. Mm. So... I think um, we are not going to make changes just for the sake of changing. We'll make changes because changes will benefit us going forward. Mm. And you speak about uh, no player actually owning a, a national team shirt and, and players wanting, uh, needing to know that it is a privilege for them to, to wear the, the green and gold of South Africa. What then is your policy around... I mean, we, we've seen uh, uh, players, I don't want to say act entitled to, 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 to the national team shirt. Uh, recently, you've brought back Kermit. Um, Tulani Serrero was, was brought back also uh, a couple of months ago, or was it last year? And this, is, this, caused, this caused a lot of debate among Bafana fans on whether what they've said in the past is, is, are, are things that should uh, uh, see them back in the national team at some point. I mean, Kermit Erasmus tweeted that he's no uh, a, a substitute player or, or something along those lines. Uh, I'm not quoting him verbatim, but he tweeted something like that. And Tulani Serrero said his couch in the Netherlands is better than the Bafana bench. And we've seen them come back into the national team. What's your policy around players um, wanting to be played, demanding to be played? I think for me, it's something very positive. If ever you have such comments, it means that particular player is very patriotic. He just want to play for the national team. But at times, we address it differently. And all that is important for me is how you manage such players. It's how you manage uh, um, uh, their talents. Because uh, we are talking of uh, professionals here. And professionals all, all, you always want to, be, want to play. And national team, it's, it's open to everybody, depending on what the coach or the coaches would like to see in a player. Mm. So if you are talking of um, individuals who made some whatever comments before, I think uh, they were brought back into the national team by either Coach Stewart or Coach Shakes. And I don't see anything wrong if ever you manage them properly. Mm. Because um, I, I normally make this example of a, of a learner in class who likes attention and who doesn't get attention from the teacher, he will always be disruptive. But if you give him attention, if ever you, you make him feel part of the class, 
he will always be of 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 he will always behave like any other student. And I think um, the likes of um, uh, Serrero and Kemit, whatever they said in the past, they they were saying to to the nation, we want to play, we just want to play for the national team, not necessarily saying. But we do don't... they have the right to dictate terms to the coach? No, no, no. If I, if I it is not about dictating. It's no, you know what, you might say something in your little corner to say, I disapprove of this, or I don't feel okay about something. But it is also upon us as, as professionals to manage the situation much better. Mm -hmm. Because uh, at the end of the day, that particular player, if ever the quality that we are looking for and the talent that he has got, we will need it in the national mm -hmm. team. We'll have to bring him down and play for the national team. Okay. Coach, it's been a dramatic week in the national team. You were in camp. Players have had to, to, to be let go at some point without playing a game. You were supposed to play Zambia. You were supposed to play Madagascar. And how, what's that done to, to, first of all, you and the players? Because I would imagine you would have wanted to get your first game out of the way quickly. Now you, you will have to wait for the October window. Yeah, I think for them just to, to, to respond to the call-up, to come and uh, be part of the team in training, I think I need to commend them for that. And for the technical team, the support staff, the medical team, uh, we had a, a very good camp uh, because uh, the introduction that we did, the induction that we did with the players mm. was exactly what we needed. It is just unfortunate we did not play that match. And I think uh, uh, we need also to understand that there are natural causes that will make you not to play a match mm. and uh, when i look at uh, what happened over uh, the last few days it is more like a natural cause yeah to say it is something that we don't have control over it um we have been to to africa with uh, the under 17s the under 20 the under 23s and even Bafana Bafan. and the reception has been very good and i think it is uh, upon us as south africans as africans to unite and to give respect and love for each other. Uh, for what happened uh, over the, the past uh, few days, I think uh, we should not be, uh, be too negative about it, but we should be too positive about it to say, as Africans, at times we need to, we need to take out a hand and hold your brother and hold your sister and walk the path together. Mm. Okay. Um, I, I, I want you to, to uh, close up by giving us, as South Africans, your promise. What, what, what is your promise, Coach Mulifinzeki, to South Africans? We've got AFCON 2021 coming. We've got the World Cup in 2022 coming. What is Mulifinzeki's promise to South Africa? I think Mulifinzeki's promise to, to himself, firstly, because you need to understand yourself, you need to, um, to, um, to raise the bar, to say, as an individual, this is what I want to achieve. I think part of that will be um, to qualify for AFCON, uh, to do very well in the AFCON, because I believe that um, as South Africans, we, we are a winning nation. And if ever we can start winning with Bafana Bafana, I think we'll be a happy nation. And qualifying for AFCON and doing well in the AFCON, I think it will give us the confidence and the belief that we can qualify for the World Cup and do well in the World Cup. So that is all that I'm looking forward to, um, to have um, a, 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 a very positive rapport with the players uh, so that we can give our best whenever we are given an opportunity to play. And I should also give my best as a coach. I should also make sure that um, I, 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 I have a, 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 a positive camp. I have a positive relationship with the players, with everybody involved in the camp. And hopefully, we'll have a very strong Bafana Bafana. And this might be the generation that we'll be talking about in, in years to come. All right, Coach Mulefinzeki, thank you so much. You speak about giving your best, and I hope for your sake, I hope for our sake as fans, your best is good enough at Bafana Bafana going to the 2022 World Cup, which is the bar uh, that you'll be judged with. Thank you so much for your time, and good luck with your reign as the national team coach. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me.
coach Mule Finzeki talking to us. And uh, that's the best way we can wrap the show. And thank you so much to our guests who came through a little bit earlier. Thank you to Tim Baker as well as Love Day Zondi and uh, my Manipiri who came through to the show talking to us about nothing but sport. My name is Benjamin Leshuru. Mdwana Mozolo. Goodbye.